So good afternoon, uh, DTM Mona Krishnan. So the first question to you is, can you please outline the position that you are standing for, uh, your club name, the year when your club was chartered, and your club number? Yes, Satish. So, first of all, good evening uh, to you, Satish, and all of you here, and uh, district council members and district members of District 120. I am running for the portion of Program Quality Director of District 120. To outline, as a Program Quality Director, my responsibility will be all the training programs that happens for our members to become a better individual and the education performance of all the members, which means put together, we bring better quality. That's a one line outline. And uh, my club name is Gen Toastmasters Club, uh, which was started in 2015, September. And uh, my club number is 0492628. Thank you. Thank you, Mohan. My next question is, uh, can you outline three points to demonstrate why you are the right candidate for this position? Absolutely. Yes, Satish. First point, uh, let me talk about education. Now, the only program is uh, Pathways Learning Experience. And I have the privilege to say that uh, I am the first Pathways DTM of District 120. And I've been still continuing to do that and have done more than, say, 50, 60 workshop of Pathways. And I believe we still have a long way to go with Pathways. And members are still struggling with uh, level three, level fours, and level fives, which means there's a lot of uh, experience needs to be shared. And that is one. So I'll have a right team to do that. And that is one. Uh, next up, uh, program quality director has a lot of uh, submissions. You know, we, we do a lot of districts awards and all those things. I am someone who has always been, I've been a member and I've thought things could be better. And I've, I've known for doing some technological automations and all those things. And that is something definitely that we will need to bring to our district. Why? Because I've seen members burn out without not being able to submit awards in time or not knowing what is happening. So somewhere bringing in a lot of auto automations or centralizations, I would say, would make uh, people's life easy. And trainings, very important. As someone who has done a lot of trainings and educational sessions, I believe uh, we can have more such trainings. For example, we have not ever done a training on how to run conferences, especially after this pandemic, we are still learning. So I believe these would be three points. So I would say a lot of more trainings and areas that we have not covered as a district. So this would be three points that, that comes to my mind, uh, Satish. What is, okay, thank you. So my next question to you is, uh, what is that one change that you will implement in the district if you are elected as a program quality director? Uh, definitely, Satish, I was talking about pathways. Uh, there is definitely, uh, I would say we have mentors, but as I said, people do not know how to approach pathways project, even though that is the only program that we have. I see people struggle with it. So I will be forming something called as a pathways advisory committee, where there'll be people every division and there'll be a spark whose only work will be to guide and walk through people on how to approach, especially these bigger projects in level three, level four, and level five. That will be one major area that I'll be focusing. And uh, another change is making sure we build more mentors. I can give some statistics here. Last three years, out of 2000 plus educational awards, we have only produced, or, or I could say 21, 45, and 47 people have completed Pathways Mentor Program, which means we have literally produced no mentors or very minimal. So one other concentration will be to build more mentors, Satish. Thank you, Mohan. And uh, my next question is, can you mention any three points from the Toastmasters Promise? Uh, absolutely, yes, Satish. Uh, Toastmasters Promise is... Uh, uh, to attend the club meetings regularly, that's the first one. And then um, fulfill any meeting uh, assignments for uh, definitely, yes. And when called upon, serve as a club officer and help the club. That would be three. Okay, so the next question is, as a Toastmaster District Officer, what will you choose, morally right or legally right? 
uh, it definitely depends both are important uh, we have policies and protocols we know we all know there is like uh, hundreds of pages of documents so definitely we have to have ta has brand guidelines and and legal uh, stuff and all those when it comes to that we definitely have to follow the legal stuff and make sure we don't go beyond that but when it comes to something about moral support that's always very important because we are here to serve members without compromising on the legal entities if there's something that we have to give moral support yes definitely yes as a leader it's very important in a servant leadership organization satish thank you distinguished toastmaster bona christian for your time uh, wishing all the best to you for your election thank you